Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Andrew Mallard and you might know me as the Urban Penguin. I certainly hope you're going to be ready for the fourth puppet course. Yes, the fourth puppet course in this series, Puppet 4, Hira, the Single Source of Truth. Now, we dramatically call it the Single Source of Truth because Hira is the one place Puppet can rely on for its configuration data. Now, you might know that I work within the UK in my own Linux training and consultancy company. Puppet has always been my configuration tool of choice and I started using it maybe seven or eight years ago to help complete classroom setups and I'm still using it today. In this course, we're going to be refactoring that NTP module that we've been working on and we're going to make sure that it can utilize Hira in replacement of some of the Puppet logic that we've previously added. This is going to make our code simpler and easier to maintain in the long run as configuration values are retrieved from Hira. During the course, we're going to dive straight into writing YAML files, looking at how we can configure and test Hira, as well as fault finding our Puppet applications. By the end of this course, you're going to be able to create Puppet modules delivering configurations that are customized using Hira. The modules are going to be easy to maintain with simplicity at the heart of their design. And of course, you're going to need some basic knowledge of Linux and an understanding of Puppet. This can be gained from the Puppet 4 Language Essentials course. 